Stones are kind of stupid, but yeah. at the time, I loved that. I thought mm -hmm. it was so cool. Anyway, match is starting. Yeah, getting into the match. <laughs> PS2, my favorite song, Battle Gladian. Yeah, uh, definitely a, a really great song. A lot of really good Pokemon tracks in this game, which is fantastic but because, like, three of the legal stages are Pokemon. So, like, French has gotten a lot of conversions from his Boomerang and f -Smack and, uh... F Forward air? Yeah, just Fair, swinging. fair, yeah, that one. No, he's really just swinging yeah. on this Rob right now. <laughs> it seems yeah. to be working. French plays very <laughs> aggressive, and it's really, like, showing right here. Using yeah. the air, Using and that that's it. That was so one well. stock done. Okay. But using a little bit of that invincibility to catch on some um, percentages into French. But so far, French is a very high-paced player right now. And it looks like every time uh, Epic Gabriel tries to pick an option to get out of disadvantage, he just gets kicked in the face. Exactly. Uh, French shooter really picking his options so carefully. Mm -hmm. Being really bombarded. Bombarded. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And I, I love seeing how French is sort of very deliberate in when he's facing a forward air and when he's facing a nair, right? Like, he gets much yeah. closer when he's planning on using nair than he does when he's going for forward air. It's really something... And, like, there you can see that, like, he's faced the nair very carefully and was able to not be in range for a follow-up because of the really smart stuff from Oh, French wow. Shooter. Really catching the roll with the... Uh, 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 spin attack. And Epic Gabriel has been unable to really find his footing so exactly. far, but he's got the bomb in hand, so yeah. we'll see. Yeah, French is really, like, French is really killing it in this game. Yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's gonna that do it. A, and also, if you realize that French has been really taking Epic Gabriel stocks all through there, catching the jumps. Yeah, I, I, I'm interested. So there, you can see Epic Gabriel just kind of walked up to the neutral and then immediately jumped back to sort of bait oh. out that advancing option that French shooters been favoring so much. And, and a great side oh, beat, close. not going to quite do it, and the bomb jump's going to put him on yes. stage. Really great option from Link, not only because it obviously gets you back on stage, but because it really resets the neutral in an interesting way. How did I think about it? French really knows the bomb matchup. Yeah! Because he really, he te now I'm thinking about it. Oh, but now it's like an equal game now. Um, yeah, really, like, we weren't even, like, I, I wasn't even really looking, and, and Epic Gabriel really just brought all the way back. Exactly. Oh, wow, okay. It's really, really good edge guarding. And oh, interesting. really small patience. Kind of doing the Link version of that Rob thing, where you put yeah. Gyro and then up smash. I didn't yeah. realize that Link could also do that. Uh-huh. Um, what's it called? Link's remote bomb, if you just throw it on ledge, it has like a, a, la a long enough hitbox to actually uh, oh, gotcha. have so a setup like that. Is it like active while it's bouncing the yes. whole time? Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. Which lots of people don't know about Link. Yeah, but they I know a lot that. about that when it comes to uh, uh, Rob. But so far, the game is. Really scary impressive how close. Epic Gabriel has managed to bring this. All the way back, and it now has a pretty sizable percentage. Oh, wow! But that was do a it. great yeah. That was a really great match. French really, like, killing the match two thirds of the way, and then suddenly, um, Epic Gabriel really bringing it back, and yeah, they're very, very close last stop. This, I think, um, is, is a very uh, reassuring position to be in for Epic Gabriel, right? Because it's, it's definitely, even if you lose game one, if you definitely get very close to making a comeback like that, it definitely feels like, okay, like I've made the adjustments I need to meet. Yeah. I, I need to make. And now like I have three more whole stocks to work with. Mm -hmm. And like now I can really like just from the start be doing what I really should have been doing yeah. all along, I so guess. So back to PS2. And this match, I believe, is going to be a little closer because as we see in the last uh, stock, last match, um, I think Gabriel really found a way to break into uh, French Shooter's defense. Yeah, really hit his stride, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, last off, last hit, that mean. And now, but interestingly, French Shooter seems to be playing this a little less aggressively than he did at the beginning of the last game. Oh, really smart stuff from the boomerang to try and catch him walking forward on the platform, but Epic Gabriel doesn't bite. Mm -hmm. I and like these weights on the ledge. Yeah, absolutely. Both of them are very good at it. Yeah, and Rob especially loves to see you like be very impatient on the ledge just because he wants to get that side beat. That'll really scoop you up if you pick basically any early ledge option. Exactly. Oh, I love that laser. Oh, 
song. <laughs> this song is also great, yeah. I actually really like the Island Kahuna one. I think they did a pretty oh, wow. good job with and that. Okay, okay. Another one. Wow, look at the French's player cam. Just absolutely mashing out of Oh, them. yeah? Yeah, I think it's it's um, really interesting how much of a mix-up that is between like early mashing and late mashing. Mm -hmm. And of course, the way that they're positioned at Xeno, neither of them can really see or hear the other Yeah, mashing, that's right. Which is another weird dimension uh, of the, the matchup that like, I know like a lot of my friends who are Rob Bains will straight up just look at your controller once they down throw you, just to see like whether or not you're mashing. And Epic Gabriel is not really an option here unless he wants to stand up, I guess. Oh, wow. That kill? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I thought he was living for a second. I didn't wow, hear anything. Wow, that was really good sh movement from Mr. French Tutor on that left platform. Oh, that I love the really wave grab. dash grab uh -huh. there. Holy shit, looking like a melee character. <laughs> Jesus. Um, oh, sorry. Watched? And, uh... It's something French really does a lot. I remember watching his YouTube videos of his linked up setups and training a lot when it comes to that. I mean, because I know French Tutor personally, I know he knows the Rob matchup for the most part. He plays yeah, a lot he... with uh, MJ from MDBA. Yeah, and it's it's definitely an important matchup to know. There aren't so many Rob mains, but it's definitely a common matchup and a matchup that uh, has a lot of weird little intricate things you really need to know about. Mm -hmm. Especially in Tri-State. So you got two Robs in the PRs this season in Q3, um, Dill and Zombo. So knowing the Rob matchup is pretty important. Yeah. Interesting. It looks like uh, French Shooter having a little more trouble here really closing out the stock. Um, unable to kind of get the fares that he was getting earlier in the set. Uh, Epic Gabriel playing, I guess, just like a little more conservative, uh, trying to sort of be more careful at the edge of his range, but manages to seal it. And this is certainly not undoable for French shooting. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Okay. 1-1. One, one. So really far. close game two, though. Yeah, this is a really, really close game two. This felt like, um, so our predictions were correct about um, how this game was going to be a lot closer because Epic Gabriel really did find a way to, big, to break through um, French Tutor. Are they going to Newport City? Smashville. Stop the battle. So far looking good. Yeah, interesting that French Shooter would pick Smashville here. Obviously, the previous two games being played on Pokemon Stadium 2. And French Shooter, who I think really got the most mileage out of just boxing at close range, it figures that he would try and take Epic Gabriel to a much smaller stage. Really good defensive play from Epic Gabriel really early on. Uh, his and shield really that's it. Oh my god. This is yeah. a really good stage for Rob, especially that little setup right there, because it kills so early in Smashville considering how, like, how tiny the stage is. Yeah, Rob does very well on stages with, with shallow walls, uh, just because it, it's so easy to really get carried off the side with side being early for some And now French Shooter, he's got a little bit of a hill to climb. Certainly nothing insurmountable, but he's definitely, the onus is certainly on him to make the play. I love that up out of shield, catching the nair uh, that Rob falls with really often, because it's just such a, a great, a, kind of oppressive option here. Really smart stuff from French Shooter. Epic Gabriel converting off the early mash with up tilt up air. Really smart stuff. It's interesting that I feel like uh, French Shooter in this matchup pulls out Remote Bomb wow. a lot. And it's always on the stage, but he doesn't really use the explosion too often. Yes, yes, that's a really big thing about French also has a lot of bomb setups that he shows a lot on his stream, but so far really... This feels like uh, game one, but reversed. Yeah, definitely. Um, Epic Gabriel is really kind of running away with it to a certain extent. Very similar to how French Shooter ran away with it. But obviously, I mean, game one just goes to show that like, you can still make it really close, even if you're far, far beyond the beginning. So maybe French Shooter will pull out some of that. Exactly. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. That was good on Epic Gabriel's part. That was a really good match, actually. Yeah, and really excellent spacing on that back air to kind of catch the full hop up. 
Uh, the back air definitely really unexpected, uh -huh. uh, and and has a very different hitbox than for than forward air, which is what he may normally have gone for. So it was a really excellent mix-up that probably caught French Shooter off guard. Yeah. And ended up converting a kill in a situation where French Shooter was picking an option that was like objectively like a good option there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Really smart stuff. Yeah, that was a really good game. Yeah, that was a great set. Really, really, really good, interesting um, stuff. Really good VODs to study off of, too, for both players. Yeah, and French Shooter's Link is just so cool to yeah, watch. Yeah, I love French's Link. So we got two links on stream. We recently just had Riggs before, and now we got French. Uh, so next up is... Uh, Stretch and Odyssey. Stretch. 